There are places in the world that gives vital energy. This town is the town where time slows down. Around picturesque nature, peace reigns here. And you can smell a lot of herbs and apples. This is the place of strange of the ancient city of Boguslav. Located on the banks of the river Ross in 120 km from Kyiv. Boguslav has a millennial history. The city was famous as a fortress, as a city of free Cossacks, loud fairs, as a city of creative people, artists, musicians, poets, writers. Boguslav region has long been known as a center of weaving, needlework and pottery. Today ancient traditions are revived. Folk masters generously share their experiences at their master classes. The green tourism estates are pleased to welcome you. A trip to Boguslav is a great opportunity to combine vacation and learning about history and traditions of Ukraine. We begin our excursion from ancient uh, architectural monument of 18th century Kamyanitsia. There was Jewish school header and uh, German uh, Gestapo earlier. Now there is a museum of folk crafts uh, where exhibition and uh, master classes are being held. The traditional folk crafts of Bohuslav are now presented in Kamyanitsia. The exposition includes works by talented craftsmen of pottery, weaving and needlework. The museum has a unique exhibit, the longest towel in Ukraine. Its length is 104 meters. We are located at the monument of Yaroslav the Wise, who created Boguslav in the 11th century. Glory to Yaroslav, greeted his prince's army after defeating the enemy, to which Yaroslav the Wise answered, Glory be to God. Thus, according to the legend, was created Fortress Boguslavl, which protected the borders of Kiev and Rus. The monument to Yaroslav is located on the octagonal star Alatyr. This is a preserve of the ancient Ukrainian. There is a monument dedicated to Great Kobzar in Shevchenko's park. He went in Borgoslav. He came with his father to the fair and to the school at the monastery. The famous artist Ivan Soshenko was born in Borgoslav. He helped redeem Taras Shevchenko from self tomb and became a friend of Kobzar. The poet Yevhen Hrebinka said, Wouldn't there be Soshenko, there would be no Shevchenko. We are standing at the one of the most beautiful buildings in Bohuslav. It is the ex-house of Pokras, who was the owner of all factories in this town. Nowadays it's the town hall. Talented boy Jacob from Bohuslav, nicknamed Olympihalik, became the main icon painter of the Kiev Pechersk Lavra in the 18th century. He was buried in Uspensk Cathedral, which he painted his whole life. We are standing at the Olympihalik monument. He was born in Boguslav and were an icon painter in Kyiv Pechersk Lava. Temple of the early 19th century, monument of national architecture value. The temple was built in the style of the late classicism. Construction of the church has begun by Alexander Branitsky, supported by the Synod and Boguslav residents. The monument to Borussia Boguslavka is installed on the place where, according to the legend, the Church of Intercession stood. A beautiful landscape opens from the top of this mountain. This monastery is almost 400 years old. During the Soviet times there was a child house and a hostel. Nowadays it's a working church. In the 19th century a spiritual in district school operated at the monastery. Famous Ukrainian artists studied here. Among them, the writer I. S. Nechulevitsky, conductor and composer of A. Kovchets. This is the famous natural attraction Yama. The height of the rocks reaches 10 meters. The high granite rock above the river and the Yama are the favorite resting place of the residents of Boguslav. It is said that here is a place of power with powerful energy. Marinas Mountains. One of the most beautiful landscapes on the Ross River and the surrounded area is located 20 km from Boguslav, from the high Dimineski cliff. This place is also called the Marina Mountain. An ancient air legend has to do with it. Great place for photo shoots. I'm standing on the top of Marianas Mountain. Here you can spectate a lot of beautiful sightseeing. Totoha Mountain. The Boguslav land is famous for its powerful energy. 
Here are the places of strange. 30 km from Bogoslav on the picturesque hills stretches the ancient village of Medvin. Many ancient settlements and mounds of Tripilian and Scythian culture were found around him. Archaeology monument, ancient site, Totoha mountain, known in Ukraine as the powerful site of the strange. They come here to get inspired, to recharge with positive energy. We are located in a Ukrainian workshop named Roxolano, where Ukrainian carpets are being made. We are in Debinci village, in Malovnice house, where Mrs. Tetiana can teach you Patrykivsky painting. Patrykivskym rozpisom zajmaujuся duže davno, že mabuć bilše 20 rokiv. I have been doing Patrick painting for a long time, for over 20 years. It is very pleasant and really gives relaxation. It's like some therapy, apparently psychological or even art therapy. It helps me and it helps people. You know that Petrukivka is also nature. You can look at the same flower for a long time and paint it endlessly. You can cut it and examine under the microscope to see where the stamens grow and then combine the details to make up a new flower. It is very useful for the development of the child. It also develops fantasy to all people. To those people who start out at the moment, we can tell how to do it, so you understand that painting isn't that hard. Many people say that I can't draw. This does not prevent you from drawing it with a Patrick painting. You can learn this very quickly and it produces a fast and a good result. You can also get pottery master classes that are being held by Mr. Sergi. I have been doing pottery for a long time. I love this business very much and I am happy to work with people. It was a try and you're gonna definitely do that. I am located in a workshop with Kanimri, where you can make your own puppet and learn this art from Mrs. Olena. I love rag dolls, they are from childhood. My mom and I used to make these dolls, but they were very simple, made with sheets of fabric we found at home. Actually, the author's rag dolls is a charm. I put different herbs in the doll's head so that they help baby to sleep calm. Children like to take a doll in their hands, lie down with it, hug it and fall asleep. Here we need to add some hair. The clothes we have already made. All this is done by hands without needles. You have seen that everything is done by hands with a lining. We make them with scraps of fabric of Ukrainian style clothing we make. These dolls are always needed. The fabric are ecological. A child can sleep with a doll, play it, it can even be dressed in its own way. The emotions of the child are directed to the good. The doll is made of cotton, but to make it look better, I add woolen thread on top, so it looks better. There is no need to add eyes, because you can see the general image she has, handkerchief, a ribbon. All of this is in the traditional Ukrainian style. Dear friends, dear admirers of history, traditions, Please come to our workshop with Kanimriyi. You will see how you can weave fabric, how you can make a rag doll from this fabric, and then you can take it with you. A rag doll can be a great gift for anyone, for example, for a child or a friend. Miss Valentina's workshop is the place where you can buy and or learn how to make your own carpets. My mother taught me how to weave, and my mother was taught by my grandfather Mikhailo. She came here to Bogoslav in 1970 from Ivano-Frankivsk, and in this region almost every family had woven some carpets or linen. In fact, we are the weaver family. I'm a carpet maker in the third generation. In the modern interior, people do not like traditional four corner ornaments, carpets, but they really like that brightness, the warmth. Often people, as they pass by, approach our carpets to at least touch them, admire, remember their grandparents, the way they evolved, and the children at this time, running under the looms and mussing up the threads or hacking them. At that moment, they have a feeling of warmth, love for their family, for childhood memories in their soul, and it is very pleasant for me, because I like to remember my grandmother, how she woke on a big loom 
and a multicolored or striped clothes came out then. It is very pleasant and it immediately fills you with warmth, kindness and a desire to weave uh, further to preserve this tradition of carpet making because weaving is a very ancient craft. I always advise our tourists to come for a longer stay, to be able to weave something for their memory. The importance of this product is that people invest in it their soul, emotions and something positive. People always weave in such delight that this product becomes very valuable to people and I really like it. I often go abroad and I like being invited to different countries of the world. Last time I went to the city of Arnhem in the Netherlands. We went there for a day of Ukrainian culture and there were represented the craft of Ukraine, pottery, carpet making, embroidery and painting and people liked all of them. The visitors were mostly Ukrainian who work and live there. But we also saw the residents of the Netherlands, who were fascinated by all the products. They liked them, and they were making photos on the background of carpets or clay pots. We also had master classes there. I came with a table loom, so anyone who had the desire could try to weave. People were so excited. They said that this was a very play interesting. People were so excited. They said that this was very interesting. I really like it myself, and I can talk about weaving for a very long time. Bogoslav region is rich for good people, beautiful scenery, historical monuments and legends, talented craftsmen. This is a land of varied vacations. Choose and enjoy workshop, fishing, horseback riding, hiking, places of power, green estates, interesting museums and sightseeing tours. We will show our dear Bogoslav how we love it. We have something to tell you that might surprise you. Welcome to Bogoslav.